Dance, much like magic, has been an integral part of human culture and spirituality for millennia. It is a universal language that transcends boundaries, a sacred expression that allows us to communicate with the divine, nature, and our inner selves. Maybe, that is the reason why, we hypnotized by this beautiful fish movement in the water, the butterfly koi. Welcome to the world of Koi, a world full of color and beauty. Like you know, there are so many color patterns, more than a hundreds, it's hard to explain them all. But the journey of finding beautiful colors starts here. Don't skip this video, and subscribe to this channel. Fishy Wild. Few people know that Harenaga breeding traces back to Japan's emperor. When the emperor of Japan, Akihito, was the prince in 1962, he visited Indonesia and saw longfin carp. He thought it would be interesting to cross the Indonesian longfin carp with Japanese koi. He suggested this idea to Saitama Prefecture's Inland Water Fisheries Experiment Station. From 1962 till 1991, the diplomatic teamwork of Indonesia and Japan exports some koi carp from Japan to Sukabumi, Indonesia, and also importing some butterfly carp to Saitama, Japan. The station succeeded to develop five Harenaga varieties. In 1991, 22 Harenaga koi were released to a pond at the palace. It is no exaggeration that Harenaga Koi would not have existed for our enjoyment without the will of Emperor Akihito. Unfortunately, Harenaga did not gain much popularity in Japan. Instead, it became very popular overseas. In the United States, for example, there are Harenaga divisions at koi shows, while there are none in Japan. I believe this stems from the different aesthetic senses of each culture. Because their fins are long, they are easy to split or tear. Personally, I think this imperfection might have bothered the Japanese eye and self-esteem as the original breeder of normal koi carp. However, I must admit that Harenaga have made a very big contribution to the koi world. Because Harenaga blood can be introduced to any variety, it literally doubles the varieties of Japanese koi. Like you know, sometimes the normal koi carp are too boring and weak. But the Harenagagoi, or butterfly koi is popular name are more adaptable and strong. It is also documented that the butterfly koi have roots in the US Blue Ridge Fish Hatchery recognized the massive potential for an added revenue stream with a new breed of koi that differed from the standard fin koi by crossbreeding traditional koi with the same Indonesian carp.
with many different breeders actively trying to develop new koi types, it is feasible that different butterfly koi lineages could exist. This type of koi is immediately noticeable by the fan-like nature of the finnage. Thanks in large part to the ease with which the two type can interbreed, they are available in almost all of the same color and scale type variations as standard fin koi. But it's not really true. Many people said, the patterns, however, are slightly different than traditional koi. But in Indonesia, the development continue until no days, and you can find wide variety of color and pattern. They also generally have longer barbells and wider neris or pom-pom nostrils, and are slightly narrower in body shape. Although slightly smaller than traditional koi, butterfly koi are also available in jumbo size, reaching over 20 inches in length. Butterfly koi are more popular in the US than most other areas of the world and are sometimes referred to abroad as American koi, sometimes called Indonesian kumpe koi in Asia region. Their appearance and increased disease resistance a byproduct of their hybrid vigor or heterosis, make them an ideal denizen of any koi pond. Despite their hardiness and beauty, however, some factions of koi breeders and enthusiasts consider this recent incarnation of hybrid koi to be undesirable and inferior, an interesting mindset considering the diversity and versatility of koi breeding is what makes these brocaded carp so unique and appealing. Too much negative gossip, and Japan koi market bussiness driving when we talk about this butterfly koi. Back in the time of making butterfly koi, a few Japanese breeders had crossed the Indonesian long fin with Nishkagoi in hopes of getting back some of the hardiness and vigor that had been lost through years of inbreeding for color and beauty. The results were quite surprising, a koi that was extremely hardy, was very fast growing, and had long fins, long barbells and in some cases pom-pom nostrils similar to those on fancy goldfish. The appearance of these higher naga koi, a long fin koi, caused quite a stir in the usually ultra-conservative world of Japanese koi, with breeders and hobbyists competing for these suddenly coveted koi amid skyrocketing prices. The quality and popularity of the water dragons progressed until inevitably some were entered into koi shows. At this point, the Erinkai decreed that these were not koi and therefore were ineligible to be shown or judged in koi competitions. Yup, you right. Japanese original koi breeder and negatively react to the butterfly koi. Without the possibility of being shown, the interest in long fins declined almost overnight in Japan, leaving a few long fin ogon, matsuba and karasu scattered around the country. Interest in butterfly koi had reached an all-time low in Japan when, in October of 1991, it was announced that the Emperor Akihito was going to Indonesia on a goodwill tour and would be presenting Lindonesia's President Suharto with 50, Hayanaga Nishiki Koi, Long Fin Nishiki Koi, as a symbol of friendship and economic cooperation between Japan and Indonesia. The photos that accompanied this press release showed some strikingly elegant Shusui, Asagi and even Kohaku with long, 
flowing fins. It goes without saying that an endorsement of this nature, coming from the Emperor of Japan, catapulted the long fin koi right back into the limelight of Japanese koi keeping. Then in 2018, Emperor Akihito of Japan also released the Harenaga Nishkagoi into the pond in the Ninomaru Garden of the Imperial Palace's East Gardens, and about 30 to 50 Harenaga Nishkagoi are kept at the Imperial Palace. Yes, in the modern day of koi carp long history, we can said that, the butterfly koi the true Japanese Imperial koi carp. Although this has not yet become a selection requirement, each butterfly koi has a different dance fan. Can you find the difference between their dance fans from each other? Yes. That's right, as you can see, they have different shapes and sizes of their pectoral fins. There are at least three categories in terms of pectoral fins. The first one, the video on the left, has full volume and is completely rounded like butterfly wings. While the right one, although long, is not very full in volume, although generally this is referred to as the common butterfly koi pectoral fin. Then the one on the left this time is butterfly koi, while the one on the right is the third category, butterfly koi with thin and elongated pectoral fins. In fact, the shape of the pectoral fin also occurs in other fins. In the full volume category, the other fins are also full volume. Likewise, the elongated thin fins, the other fins are also elongated thin. This is not yet common knowledge, let alone a provision in the butterfly koi category. But the difference in shape and volume is too stark to ignore. Taking quality care of a butterfly koi is essential to ensuring they live a long and happy life. Although butterfly koi care is generally considered easy, it is still important that their habitat is well maintained and kept to their standard. To ensure suitable conditions, frequent tests should be conducted on the butterfly koi water quality. Butterfly koi can live in various environments, so paying close attention to their demeanor and preference can help ensure they are at their full happiness potential in a pond or a tank. The butterfly koi needs a water temperature in their tank that is consistent with their outdoor habitat. Because they are cold water fish, they can withstand water temperatures that range from 33 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, although their water temperature should be maintained between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It is crucial to the well-being of the butterfly koi that their water temperature is kept at bay in extreme conditions. 
A pond derisa can be extremely useful for the butterfly koi habitat if temperatures drop below 33 degrees Fahrenheit. A pond deeper than 3 feet allows them to go dormant safely in the cold. In contrast, water that is too warm in temperature can cause diseases with less dissolved oxygen and more toxic ammonia. Dissolved oxygen tests should be run periodically and are especially crucial in warmer weather conditions. When water temperatures are too high, oxygen levels might be too low for the butterfly koi. A good indicator that oxygen levels are depleting is if the butterfly koi comes to the pond's surface to gasp for air. The butterfly koi pond should have adequate aeration through air pump or waterfalls, with an oxygen level reading of 6.00 ppm or above. Butterfly koi prefer pond water with a pH of 7.5 to 7.8, with slight alkalinity. Readings of the pond pH should be done, in the morning and evenings, because conditions can fluctuate during the day and night. Butterfly koi are extremely sensitive to ammonia in their water, and there should be zero traces of it in their habitat. Water testing will help identify if there is any ammonia in a butterfly koi pond, so that it can be controlled immediately. Water should be changed on a consistent basis, to ensure that no ammonia develops in the environment. The average size of a butterfly koi is 12 to 15 inches in length at full maturity. Although this is the general length for this species, some butterfly koi are recorded to reach a size of up to 3 feet in length, when they are taken care of in the most favorable conditions. The butterfly koi grows in size with age, grace, and beauty as they develop long flowing fins and whiskers. A butterfly koi diet is easy to maintain, with high-quality pellet food making up most of the diet. These pellets will ensure that the butterfly koi maintains a balanced diet, and intakes enough nutrients, to keep them healthy and growing. Butterfly koi also enjoy live treats, and can eat everything a human would, including oranges, lettuce, peas, and watermelon, as well as shrimp and algae. A butterfly koi should be fed once to twice a day during warm weather days. In cold weather, butterfly koi should be fed less, because of low physical activity levels, and the inclination to go into hibernation. It is also advised, not to feed butterfly koi after rainstorms, because they need oxygen to digest their food, and oxygen levels in the water drop after extreme weather. A healthy butterfly koi will live an average of 25 to 30 years, in captivity when properly cared for. This means, they have correct water parameters, high water quality, and a suitable diet. Because of their hardiness, and resistance to disease, butterfly koi are known to live robust lives, if they are cared for well. A butterfly koi fish can be kept in a tank, as long as there is enough space, for this very active fish, to swim around freely. The tank substrate should be a muddy substance, because butterfly koi like to search and dig through sediment, when they are looking for food. Butterfly koi also enjoy aquatic plants, and foliage, so a few of these can be included in their tank, to keep them satisfied with an interactive environment. One butterfly koi needs at least 250 gallons of water in its tank, because they are large and energetic fish. If more than one butterfly koi will be kept in the same tank, at least 1,000 gallons is more suitable for the tank size. The tank should also have deep and shallow water, because butterfly koi like to fluctuate between each water level, in their environment, depending on temperature, and the time of day. But the best is keeping them in a pond.
A butterfly koi pond should be set up to ensure quality water conditions and proper aeration. A well-aerated pond with plenty of aquatic plants and foliage will make a butterfly koi happy in its new home. While this fish enjoys plants, too many should be avoided because they can interfere with the oxygen levels that are appropriate for the butterfly koi. Because butterfly koi grow to such a large size, a pond that holds at least 1,000 gallons is recommended for the overall well-being of a group. These fish are also very graceful swimmers and need adequate room to roam freely around their habitat. Butterfly koi are prone to a few diseases and should be monitored to ensure that no symptoms occur. Some of the symptoms associated with the disease among butterfly koi include but are not limited to loss of appetite, clamped fins, open wounds, ulcers, white spots, self-isolation, restlessness, and gasping at the pond surface. Any of these signs of behavior could point to illness for a butterfly koi and should be attended to as soon as possible. Butterfly koi can suffer from bacterial infections, which should be treated by isolating the infected butterfly koi in their own tank space. A vet should be consulted for further treatment, and a prescription of medication for the fish may be recommended. Parasites can also pose a health concern to butterfly koi, and should be removed as soon as they are identified. These unwanted parasites can be removed from the butterfly koi with tweezers, but it is important that the entire body is removed from the fish to avoid further infection. If an infection occurs, a vet can be consulted for further steps. Butterfly koi can be easily infected with a disease called koi hapsvirus or KHV. This is a very contagious virus, and there is a high chance that once a fish is infected, it will likely die in the following days. The fish that survive can carry the virus and infect other fish, as well as potentially the entire tank. Symptoms of KHV include shortness of breath and red or white spots on the gills. Infected fish should be isolated and moved to their own tank as soon as possible. Butterfly koi are prone to a few diseases and should be monitored to ensure that no symptoms occur. Some of the symptoms associated with the disease among butterfly koi include but are not limited to loss of appetite, clamped fins, open wounds, ulcers, white spots, self-isolation, restlessness, and gasping at the pond surface. Any of these signs of behavior could point to illness for a butterfly koi and should be attended to as soon as possible. Butterfly koi can suffer from bacterial infections, which should be treated by isolating the infected butterfly koi in their own tank space. A vet should be consulted for further treatment, and a prescription of medication for the fish may be recommended. Parasites can also pose a health concern to butterfly koi and should be removed as soon as they are identified. These unwanted parasites can be removed from the butterfly koi with tweezers, but it is important that the entire body is removed from the fish to avoid further infection. If an infection occurs, a vet can be consulted for further steps. Butterfly koi can be easily infected with a disease called koi hapsvirus or KHV. This is a very contagious virus, and there is a high chance that once a fish is infected, it will likely die in the following days. The fish that survive can carry the virus and infect other fish, as well as potentially the entire tank. Symptoms of KHV include shortness of breath and red or white spots on the gills. Infected fish should be isolated and moved to their own tank as soon as possible. Butterfly koi are considered extremely social, 
calm and amiable in their environment. Their activity level varies from fish to fish. Some are playful and others prefer to stay aloof. Although the butterfly koi is often very friendly, they can occasionally turn aggressive with other fish species in their habitat. For this reason, a butterfly koi should be confirmed as non-aggressive before introducing other species to its space. These fish should also not be placed in the same habitat as fish that are antisocial, as it might cause problems. Butterfly koi are a popular fish species and are therefore readily available from most online stores and koi breeders. Because many stores sell low-quality butterfly koi, it is important to conduct thorough research and only buy from a reputable retailer. If possible, the butterfly koi should be inspected before purchase to ensure that it is healthy and of good standing before investing. Because of their beauty and popularity, butterfly koi falls on the higher price spectrum for aquarists. The average price for a butterfly koi is between $80 and $200, depending on their appearance and the source of purchase. With a high price point, the butterfly koi should be considered an investment that will add value and elegance to any environment they are introduced to. Butterfly koi can be more expensive than standard ko i if they have a pattern with bright colors and very long and flowing fins in contrast a healthy standard koi that comes from a reputable breeder might be the same expense as a butterfly koi without any extra special features butterfly koi are different from standard koi because of their fins whereas butterfly koi have fins that continue to grow longer over their lifetime as a result they have long flowing fins, whereas standard koi have fins that stop growing after a certain point. Butterfly koi also tend to have more slender bodies than their standard koi counterparts.